New watches. First, a history lesson. You guys know I am all about Jager Le Coult. I collect it exclusively. The unpronounceable brand that makes the best watches offers you a history lesson. Now, if you want to save some coin and revel in the thrill of the chase, there was a December 2006 Sincere High Horology limited edition of 150 pieces based on the already rare Master World Geographic from JLC. Now, this was a 41 millimeter World Geographic in titanium that offered center seconds, an unusual combo for the brand. Radial date, world time, dual time, and here's some additional dial detail of that elusive machine if you want to strike out in pursuit. But, as I like to say sometimes, if you were good in a past life, you come back as something better. The Jajera LeCoult Polaris Geographic World Timer. Okay, now we're talking a now watch, a today watch. This is a timepiece that just broke in the last 24 hours. It's part of the new for 2018 JLC Polaris model family, but this did not come out in January at SIHH. So this one's all about the blue gradient dial. That's the highlight. If we go full screen with this one, guys, Folks really deserve a big picture because this is all about the transition of the color from the center to the outside. It has a beautiful, richly textured, pebble-like surface like you'll find on JLC's eggshell dual met discs for about twice the price. Now it appears that standard accessory includes a black gator strap and a steel pin buckle. This one has a display case back that secures 100 meter water resistance. This is going to be an aquatic watch, guys, just not on the leather, uh, to protect the JLC Caliber 936, which makes its first appearance in a JLC watch since about 2009, when the Master World Geographic was phased out. Now, there is a little bit of a downside. This will be a JLC boutique exclusive of 250 pieces. At 13,650 euros, you guys know how VAT works. I can't just convert that straight to dollars. I would imagine, in the end, this winds up being about an eleven to twelve thousand dollar U.S. piece. Okay, from the brand that made expensive watches fun and silly comes the MBNF Aquapod HM7 in Thai green, titanium and green. The latest evidence that green watches are the new blue. All the more because it replaces an original watch, the original, if you remember, that I brought you in 2017, that actually featured blue accents. So you can see we've gone from blue to green. Now, it's a sapphire cap over green base material, so you've got a synthetic sapphire over the green that effectively provides protection, allowing it to be scratch-resistant, scuff-resistant, and daily wear. It's a showstopper, and the consensus in 2017 was that the original jellyfish-like watch was the best in show at SIHH. Okay, titanium case with crazy jellyfish profile. You see what I'm talking about. This thing is biomorphic and wonderfully silly. Totally fatuous. Max likes to say that a creative adult is a child that survives, and that is the spirit that flourishes at MBNF. I was thrilled to find this one in my inbox yesterday. Okay, big watch, 53.8 millimeters in diameter by 21.3 thick. It doesn't wear that big. In practice, I got a 16 centimeter wrist. I could wear it. There were ladies in the audience at SIHH, even smaller than me, who could wear this watch. Don't take it at face value. What you can take at face value is the Epic Loom. This one comes alive at night. So, AGT Ultra, you already know it, James Thompson and Black Badger, longtime collaborators with MBNF. This is a watch designed to be seen in the dark. It uses green loom to illuminate the Torbion caliber, which returns from 2016. MBNF manufacture movement energized by a platinum rotor. The jellyfish theme continues here. You can see the platinum rotor featuring, if we go full screen here, jellyfish-like tentacles, again, in the most noble of platinum, and 303 parts, 72-hour power reserve, central tourbillon. I was told, yes, the MBNF Aquapod is 50-meter water-resistant and swimmable. It's just not a dive watch. Sign up for one of the 50 available to join the original 33 in titanium and 66 in rose gold. You will pay 108,000 U.S. dollars. Both you and Max will probably wind up laughing all the way to the bank because this is stupid good fun in the six-figure price range. Okay, and now a real watch for real-world budgets. Back in the realm of the possible, this is IWC's Pilot's Watch Chronograph 377724. A lot of numbers to explain something that's fundamentally simple. 43 millimeters, stainless steel, and pseudo vintage. That's right, guys. 1994 is now vintage because this is the German Swiss watch brand turning back the clock, Gesundheit, to the early 1990s with its 43 millimeter stainless pilot's watch in the spirit of 1994's 
3706. That was 39 millimeters. This is 43, keeping with the trend. Nevertheless, the new model dons a slick NATO style strap in olive green textile. If we go full screen with that, you can see exactly what I mean. Helping to attain that budget friendly, barely sub $5,000 price. It looks sharp. And it takes us back to the even earlier era of true IWC military pilots' watches in the 40s, the 50s, and the 60s. Now, dials feature chronograph functions, a day, a date, tritium patina, a slick on the wrist profile. Again, I, this is IWC pilot style, so it's shaped like the big pilot, but wearable on human anatomy. And, of course, a Valju 7750 caliber, tough and reliable inside the 60-meter water-resistant case. Now, in keeping with recent trends, this will be an IWC e-commerce exclusive, at least until October of this year. $4,950 U.S. dollars hooks you up.